Hey everyone, my name is Morgan, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can control your computer through your PS Vita using Moonlight and Sunshine. First things first, you just want to get Moonlight on your PS Vita by going to the VitaDB downloader, starting that and then waiting for it to start. And you want to go to search at the top and then type in Sun. No, you don't. You want to type in Moonlight. There. And it's a Vita Moonlight. You want to wait for this to download, install, and it should just be on your. I think it's called Live Area. I don't know. Second thing you want to do is go onto your computer, go onto your web browser, and then look up Sunshine. I'm an idiot. Sunshine for Moonlight. I'm gonna look at that, and then you want to press this one. This can also be linked in the description. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Windows Portable .zip is the one I will use. You can install it or pick one of these that suits your operating system. There's a flat pack, there's an app image, there's a DMG. Pretty much whatever you're using, this is probably going to be on there. I'm going to open this. Then I'm just going to extract this to my documents. Actually, while I'm waiting for this, I'm going to put this into here because I like to have my stuff organized into folders. So once that's finished, you want to go to where you have extracted this file, mine is here, you want to open this. The next what you want to do, oh no, oh my feet just turned off. Once you have Sunshine open, what you want to do is going to go to this link, welcome, okay then what you want to go to do is your configuration. You want to give this a name if your computer does not already have a specified name. It might, if not, you can skip this step if you can remember it. I'm just going to call this like Awesome Computing Device. Then what you want to do is you want to open your command prompt, type in ipconfig. Now that you're at this step, you want to go back to your Vita. Press start. And you want to go down to add manually. As you can see, I've done this a couple times. Add manually. And you want to type in the name you just gave it, which in my case was awesome. Come. You, you team device. Then you want to specify the IP address that you pulled up in your IP config, which in this case was one nine two dot one six eight dot four dot one four nine. Enter. It's going to run a test. This might take a while. Okay. Now that you're on this stage, you want to go back to your computer and type in that pin by going up to God, start, just start, pin, and then typing in that code, which is 5608. Success! Check the light to continue. And 
that didn't work as oh, that an awesome computing device. And now we can go back onto this. And then you want to go down to desktop because well you can go down to Steam Big Picture, but the buttons don't work. You see now we're on the computer. Yeah, the buttons don't do anything. They don't do the do. But the mouse does. But the thing is, it's not like where you tap, that's where the mouse will be. It's a trackpad. So you swipe it and it moves the mouse. Cross one place, swipe it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire video. So, yes, I really do hope that you enjoyed this. I don't know why you would. This is boring. So thank you for watching this video, I will see you later, I'm going to stop with the video, boink.